My name is Dr. Kosi. Do you know where you are right now? Okay. You're at the Kosi Hospital. You were brought into our emergency department by an ambulance. A neighbor said they found you after they heard a crash in your house. It seems like you fell. So, I'm going to evaluate you, okay? Make sure that everything's alright. Do you know your name? Perfect. Your date of birth? Okay. I'm just gonna take your temperature really quickly, okay? It's not gonna hurt. This just hovers over your forehead. Just... Don't try to move, okay? I really want you to stay really nice and still for me. I want to make sure that there's no injury here. Can you take a deep breath in? Thank you. And again, deep breath in. One more. Perfect. Okay. Are there any particular areas where you're feeling pain? You're not really sure what you feel, okay. Just feeling. when I press. Okay. Okay. I am going to put a brace around your neck as a precaution, okay? a little bit snug, but I want to make sure that we keep your neck nice and stabilized here. So. Okay. So, keep your eyes open for me, okay? Have you followed my light? I don't want you turning your head at all, okay? I just want you to look with your eyes.
I'm gonna test your peripheral vision. I just want you to tell me when you see the light, okay? you're able to see. Okay. Are you not able to see from that side? It's blurry. Okay. some neurological testing before I test your vision just to make sure that your brain is okay, all right? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is something called blink to threat. It's going to look like I'm going to poke you in the eye. I'm not going to. I just want to see at what point you blink, okay? Reflex test, okay. Other side. One more of these, this is sensation testing with the pinwheel here. So, it's kind of sharp, it's pokey, but this shouldn't be painful, just a little irritating. <laughs> I just want you to tell me when you feel it, okay? is intact, which is good news. Okay. Okay. So 
you're experiencing blurry vision from your right eye, correct? Okay. First, keep your eyes open for me. I just want to take a look at the actual eye itself, just with the light. See if I can see any drama. This is a fundoscope, and I'm just going to use it to look inside your eye. So, I'm open. to see which makes me think that there's a possible vitreous hemorrhage so, yeah, the vitreous body is basically a clear gel that protects the lens and the retina with trauma, vessels can rupture, which can cause bleeding into the vitreous body, it can cause blurred vision. It's a pretty easy fix. Just taking a look around the eye. And do you see? forming around. I'm not seeing it on the other side. There is some swelling right now, sorry. I'm just needing to feel the extent of the injury here. going to order a head x-ray as well as for your neck. Okay. First, let's take care of your eye, okay? One moment. Chest and neck x ray. Chest and neck x ray. Perfect. You're yeah, we'll ruling out any kind of fracture. Great. Thank you. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just lie you down flat, okay? I'm going to be giving you some eye drops which are going to numb the area. So, shouldn't be any kind of discomfort from this. 
circumstances, all right? Discomfort from this, all right? So, we're going to do an ultrasound to start and see what's going on inside the eye, okay? And then if, in fact, there is bleeding into the vitreous body, we will deal with that as well. But first things first, let's make sure we have an accurate diagnosis. So I'm going to lie you all the way back flat, okay? Okay. You okay lying down like that? Good. Okay. So I'm going to move some things. So as promised, we will start with our eye drops. Think a few times. I'm going to do is just put some conductive gel, but actually first, let's make sure you are nice and numb, okay? So I'm just going to lightly press. Can you feel that? No? Good. How about here? Good. None of that? Perfect. Okay. So, I'm going to put on some conductive gel. Doesn't sting at all. It might be a little bit sticky. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to feel a little bit of pressure from my transducer.
Richard's body. localized. take care of this to make sure that it doesn't worsen the situation or there's no permanent damage. And because there is enough blood that I can't see properly, I'm going to be doing this with cryotherapy. So I'm going to be using a little probe. It's just going to go on the surface of your eye. Okay. And it's going to act like a glue going to freeze the vessels, okay, so that way no more blood goes into the cavity or goes into the vitreous body. I will make sure that you are completely numb before we do this, all right? So, real quick, let's test again, okay? Can you feel that? Okay, good. How about... Officially completely numb. be a little sting. Did you feel that? Okay, good. so that it can work completely, okay? And then... Take some 
quick measurements here, okay? So it's just gonna rest here. So we have it up say, oh no. This is our probe. Just going to sit right on the eye, just like so. Okay, I'm just going to begin. do anything further, I'm going to check again with my ultrasound, just to make sure. Gel here. 
Looks good. with my thunderscope. put an eye patch over your eyes so it's able to rest a bit. So let's grab that. Okay. And this is made of silicone so it shouldn't be irritating to the skin. Take you back up, okay? I'm gonna go slow, don't worry. Mm -hmm. dizzy at all. Can bring you back just a little short. Is that better? Good. Okay. So real quick then. seen one of these before, yeah. Yeah. It's a smelling chart. And normally, you would have it at a different distance without you lying down. I just want to make sure that you're able to see it properly. So, right here, this line. Are you able to see it? Okay. Can I get you to read it for me? How about this line right underneath it? Try and hold it still. Okay. And then this last line right here. Good. Can you tell me what color this is? 
this one. Perfect. Great. Okay, so now I'm just going to check the rest of your body for any kind of injuries, alright? We needed to take care of this one first, so let me know if you feel any pain, if anything feels off. under this. Okay, let me know, okay? You're not feeling anything. Seeing any broken skin anywhere.
Please open up your mouth for me so I can take a look. Perfect, thank you. around. Okay, so my exam is clear. I'm just going to take a couple notes real quick before I step out. And then someone from radiology will be in here pretty soon to take you over. And that way we can get x-rays, make sure there are no fractures or injuries we're not able to detect, to detect on physical exam, okay?
ahead and step out. So there is a call button right there next to your hand. If you need anything right away, one of our nurses will come in, okay? As soon as you push that button. So, in the meanwhile, it shouldn't be too much longer before someone from radiology comes in here to take you for an x-ray. I don't think it's too busy down there, so it should be pretty soon, okay? Do you have any questions for me before I step out? I will be back to check on you as soon as I have the films from radiology. So, then we can talk about the findings then and proceed with the treatment plan, okay? 